Oh, for those old judges, no. I'd love to hear your song. Oh, forget it, Blanche. Please. Oh, no, the whole experience was too painful. Please. We just want to put it out of our minds. Please. Hit it, Rose. <laughs> to say what I feel Miami has so much appeal a great place to get a seafood meal Miami 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 you got style blue sky sunshine white sand by the mile Hit there's ball clubs and nightclubs within reach, dance the samba till morning, then lie on the beach. Each view is a postcard, each day a great time. The cream of the crop hits the top of the line. Miami, you got stars. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. I'm Chris the Girl, and this is Tampa J. In Miami. And we are in Miami, continuing our Miami adventures this weekend. And we are right on Miami Beach. Miami Beach, right on Ocean Drive. Iconic. All the Art Deco, Art Deco all the people walking around, bicycling, getting some breakfast. It's still kind of early in the day. And uh, speaking of that, I don't have a plan for today. Today is pretty much just enjoying Miami. I, I haven't really spent too much time in this beautiful city, in this beautiful part of Florida, of the country. The only time I have was uh, basically to get on some cruise ships, more or less. Yeah. So I am very excited. I have very much been looking forward to spending some time here and actually seeing and experiencing the beautiful city of Miami. It's gonna be a short trip here, but nonetheless, I think it's gonna be awesome already having a great time. Look at this weather too. It's beautiful, it's it is out beautiful here. out. It's getting warm, and as I said, we're right here on the beach. It's right over there, and Stand I know for right a there. fact that's where we are starting out our day here on this video, is we are going out to the beach, and we are spending some time on Miami Beach. Crash of the waves. And Tampa J, he has his own special project that he is doing today. <laughs> no, he can So, uh, if you haven't already seen that video, make sure that you check that out. Another iconic filming location video right here, right here in, in Miami. Miami. They filmed so, a lot of stuff out here, too. We're going to be parting ways very shortly here, but then we're going to be getting back together and continuing onward throughout Enjoy our day here in Miami. So, without further ado, let's get going. And let's go. Lots and lots of bicyclists down here on Miami Beach. Lots of people walking around, enjoying the sunshine. We had a nice little montage there of the Golden Girls singing their Miami song. Of course, they lived here in, in Miami somewhere, somewhere around here, fictionally speaking, of course. Unfortunately, they didn't film any scenes of the Golden Girls actually here in Miami or trust me that's what we would be doing today that's like my favorite show of all time and it looks like they're doing some kind of farmers market type thing right here on the beach at well as well it's Sunday morning lots of people out and about exercising doing their thing there's even an outdoor gym I don't want to show the whole thing because there's really people working out on this gym right here on the beach that's pretty darn amazing and we have an iguana alert there he goes running off into the bushes, oh my gosh. That's the first time I've seen an iguana like that in the real, not in a pet shop, besides Mexico. Whoop, there he goes. Bye bye and Check this out, it is a sea of volleyball nets. If you wanna play volleyball on the beach, this is the place to go. Okay, I've been to a lot of beaches in my time here in Florida and in other states. But I've never seen a beach so quintessentially beachy-like than right here in Miami. This is kind of what you think of if you've maybe never been on a beach before. Or, you know, you've seen it in movies with the volleyball nets, tons of people running around on bicycles, on rollerblades, the people working out on the beach over there as well. All of the palm trees, still I've never seen so many palm trees in my life. 
This is pretty darn amazing. Okay, Miami Beach, first time on Miami Beach, let's go. All right, first glance, this is what we're dealing with. Looks like a sea of umbrellas and chairs. I'm, I'm gonna assume that you have to pay for them. I have no idea, I brought my own towels and stuff like that, so I'm not too worried about it. And I don't need an umbrella either. I also see they're selling refreshments out there as well, which is pretty nice. And there it is, there's the ocean. It is right here, right next to the beach. I guess that's the statement of the century, but here we are. This is nice, very, very nice. White sands by the mile indeed. And it looks like there's someone parasailing out there right now. Better them than me, I hope they're having a good time. So honestly, it's just nice to be on the beach. This is what I've been looking forward to the most besides the botanical garden, which is spending time on the beach. And again, I've never been to Miami Beach before, so this is pretty cool. To be able to say that I spent some time out here uh, is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna hang out here, probably go in the ocean a little bit later, and uh, basically just wait for Tampa J here on the beach. I can think of worse things to do, that's for sure. All right, well that's a wrap for the beach. Spent a good amount of time here, I think a couple hours. Not really sure, to be honest, I fell asleep a little bit on the beach, which was pretty darn amazing. Launched yesterday's video, went into the ocean a couple times, and in general, just hung out and had a fantastic time on the beach. Now we're gonna go meet back up with Tampa Jay. All right, I found Tampa Jay. He's easy to spot with his Hawaiian shirt. Yesterday I had a flamingo shirt on. You sure did, and it was <laughs> awesome. How was it? Life's a beach. Good. I Good. got the footage. There's All right. A lot of people walking around. There sure so are. Yeah. I have to work my magic in the editing room later. So I know you can do harder, it. But, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Ready to beach. ready to move on? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that is a very very cool car in front of the That's Avalon. Beauty. That's amazing. I like the color. Yeah, the yellow. Miami Beach, Art Deco Paradise. South Beach. And once again, so many palm trees. I can't get over it. It is beautiful. So we're inside of the CVS where I apparently part of Scarface was actually filmed. Pretty amazing. Check out Tampa J's video. But check out all of the Miami specific stuff that they have in here. Specifically these flippies. These are pretty adorable. And these tiny little backpacks too. And before we head back to the car, we'll move on to our next spot. I think we're gonna grab a smoothie, maybe some food over here at the healthy fast food spot. It's a smoothie spot. And we've got our smoothies. They are delicious. Heading out of Sobe now, South Beach, as Tampa J just informed me. Moving on to the next location. Something that I've noticed about Miami too, specifically Miami Beach here, I know it's not all Miami, but it's a very, very beautiful spot. And by that I mean it's, it's like Instagram worthy. Like everywhere you look is like a picture that you can take. And like even the restaurants and all of that stuff, it's very, very like hip. I guess. Very is, iconic. Is that beach. what the kids are saying these days? So can you explain to us where we are? Just we're still Miami Beach, yeah, right? We're on North Beach. Okay, North Beach. This is beach. like the architectural uh, hotel district. Uh -huh. I can tell. And uh, that's the Eden Rock. So we're heading to the Fountain Blue. Uh -huh. They specifically filmed a scene of Scarface on the back side of that, okay. that and, hotel. And this is the boardwalk, right? This is, yeah. Even this though it's is technically not, really not boards, a boardwalk, but, but. This is the beach walk. Yeah, area. it's a beach walk area. Okay, very nice. North Beach is still a very, very, very busy beach as well, especially as it's getting warmer and warmer out and that ice cold water feels pretty darn good. I forgot to mention that. The water is cold. It is definitely cold. Is it? But once you get in there, it feels amazing. And as you can hear, it is bumping out here. Holy moly. Club scene for sure. Doing some not minor trespassing. This is paradise, this man. Is, it's, it's open to everybody. We're not here illegally or anything like that. Tampa J hunting down some Scarface locations and I'm just along for the ride. And now I've got the most beachy Florida song ever. 
Thanks to the Beach Boys. Thank you. Onward, here we go. And as we drive through a lot of these neighborhoods, I have to wonder, where did the Golden Girls live? Obviously, once again, fictitious TV show. They didn't actually live, or there aren't any filming locations here in Miami. But just kind of thinking about it, like fictitious, fictitiously, where would they have lived here in Miami? I don't know. I bet they're Coral Gables. Yeah. Coral Gables, pretty fancy. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be cool. Whoa, that is a really Classic cool looking Publix. Or excuse me, Publix, that's a Publix. And right across from us here is Star Island. Definitely remember this when we were taking our cruise ship out from Miami, which by the way, well there the cruise is right in front of us here. So, very cool, Star Island. Bunch of celebrities and stars live on that island. Or so I've been told. So yeah, basically today has just been following Tampa J around as he does his Scarface filming location video. And I'm not mad at that. Um, like I said at the very beginning, I didn't necessarily have a plan for what I wanted to do today. I just wanted to make sure that Tampa J got the footage that he wanted to get. And I uh, figured since a lot of that was on Miami Beach, it was a great excuse to go out to the beach and enjoy the beach. And um, I'm really enjoying Miami so far. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful city, as I said before. Very busy, very hectic, very crazy, lots of traffic, um, a lot going on. So to me, this is not my ideal vacation if I had to choose a vacation spot, but that's just me. I know a lot of people out there have to, they just have to love this kind of vibe, the vibe of Miami. I totally feel it and um, I understand it. And we're very lucky that we've had a beautiful blue sky day today. It's nice and warm and breezy. It's just been, it's been lovely and I've been thoroughly enjoying my time here so far. It was not an easy feat for that fire nope. engine. There's a car fire going on in that bridge right up ahead. Holy cow, you can see the flame. We're, we're just like stuck here. Yeah, wow. It must yeah. have just happened. Like yeah, it just said. happened. Yeah, yikes. Put out now. And we're moving again. Heading back into, well, more Miami. Evidently, that's where the Miami Heat plays. Miami. They're the basketball team. <laughs> Very nice. And they even have a monorail here, too. I've it. It's pretty adorable. It's awesome. <laughs> expansive city of Miami. That's a very good point, Tampa J. This definitely is probably the most impressive city in terms of buildings and architecture and whatnot in all of Florida. I remember when I went to uh, Boston and Philadelphia and places like that for the first time, I was amazed by the architecture and I feel the same way today as well. Very cool buildings here. Pretty darn amazing, just a sea of buildings. Let's be drive through Miami. And some really cool pillars to whatever building this is over here as well. It this seems, might be the Westin. It seems to me like a lot of these buildings are like condos and like apartments and stuff like that. Really business, no. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't seem like business buildings. Just a lot of like residential stuff. Well, except for the Bank of America right there. And apologies for the dirty window, but I had to show the really cool sign here. Welcome to Key Biscayne. I'm very excited to head out onto Biscayne Island. It's an island, right? It's an island, yeah. It's an island. more on this side yeah. is supposed to be a really lovely view of the Miami skyline. I can see it right there. Yeah, we yeah. can see it right here. So hopefully by the time we leave, it'll be kind of dark and it'll look, it should look really beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it does already, but you know. Wow. Yeah. That's right amazing. There. Yeah. There's a lot of yachts out there, a lot of boats, boating action going on. Now we're passing by the Miami Sea Aquarium here as well, which is one thing that we considered doing this weekend and checking out, but we didn't have enough time. We'll have to come back. And that mural over there says Key Biscayne. 
Life, Life is, amazing. is amazing. Thank you, Tampa J. Sorry. All right, very fancy, very beautiful neighborhoods here in Key Biscayne. Tampa J getting his final Scarface location. Yep. And now we're gonna go get some food. Pizza. And I'm very, very excited about it. Yeah, some pizza. Look how beautiful this this driveway is. Yeah, like a nice little tree. Never ceasing to amaze me, Miami. Very, very beautiful. Pretty sure the Golden Girls did not live in Key Biscayne. These, these houses are just a little bit too fancy, I think, for, for what they had. But you never know. I don't know, that could have been Blanche's house right there. Yeah, that's her house. Yeah, totally. And we are continuing our journey to find restaurants and food items that we can't find in Tampa, in Orlando, in our usual stomping grounds. And look at that, we found a Sir Pizza. Actually, they have a Sir Pizza at Fort Myers. Fort, yeah, Fort Myers. That's right. And we ate there after we went to the Shell Factory? The Shell Factory, yeah. Question mark? Yeah, I think so. so. Sir Pizza is actually Ohio based. It's uh -huh. a sister like pizza to my favorite pizza in Indiana called Pizza King. Yeah. Very similar, uh, Midwestern style pizza. And there's only a few of them in Florida. There are, yeah. One so right here. I'm very excited. I only ate at that Sir Pizza in Fort Myers once and it was delicious. So I am yeah. so excited for this. There it is, Sir Pizza Pizza over here. Looks really, really good. And we got some iced tea. Yeah. What do you think, Tampa J? Excited? Dig good. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. I just figured it out, Tampa J. Yeah. I know what the sauce tastes like. Okay. SpaghettiOs. Right. You're onto something. It literally tastes like spaghetti sauce. The secret ingredient is Chef Boy or Ghee sauce. Apparently so. I it tastes know. really, really, <laughs> really good. Sauce. It's a nice sweet sauce. Yeah. And it definitely is spaghetti. -os. That's why I like it. Yeah, it reminds me of Pizza King growing up eating it. it it's all yeah. about the sweet sauce. It's yeah. my favorite. Well, goodbye, Pizza King. That was delicious. Goodbye, <laughs> not Pizza King. Sorry, Sir Pizza, you have not earned that title. No. You're just a sir, you're just a knight. I apologize to the courts of the pizza. <laughs> but goodbye, Sir Pizza, is what I'm trying to say here. That was delicious, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I also wanted to say that this video's iced tea or coffee is thanks to Leo. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Cheers. Hope you enjoy this one. The old uh, stadium. Old um. stadium, abandoned <laughs> stadium that we are passing by now, and that is evidently where Magic Mike Live is taking oh, place. So that's where we're going tomorrow night. That's where we're going tomorrow night. The sun is setting rapidly. Look how beautiful it is out there. Wow. Yeah. It's like we're in Florida or something. I love that. Miami. Miami, you've got style. Blue skies, sunshine, white sand by the mile. I definitely understand that now. Definitely understand that now. This was a beautiful, beautiful day here in Miami, exploring all around this really unique and amazing city. I had a blast. It was a lot of fun. And look at this amazing skyline right now. Holy oh, moly. It's awesome. beautiful. We ended up here at just the right time as the sun is setting against the buildings. It is so picturesque. It is just absolutely beautiful. Also, over here to our right, a bunch of boats, a bunch of yachts. It's just, it, it perfectly like encapsulates yeah, this is Miami right the here. day and Miami in general. And that is gonna do it for our time here in Miami. It was a brief trip, but it was a lot of fun. And we drove all, all, over, all over, all <laughs> over here. Over the beach. Um, it was a very, very cool experience. It all worked out. You were doing the Scarface filming locations. Again, if you haven't seen the video yet, make sure you check that out. Thank you. I know firsthand how hard Tampa J worked on that video today. Uh, it took all day uh, to do so. Make yeah. sure you check that all out. And uh, because of that, we were able to see a lot of Miami, which was really fun. So I basically did everything. <laughs> 
I filmed like everything else that we did today, but um, behind the scenes, behind the Griffin. scenes, basically, well, yeah. So me. yeah, we'll we'll definitely be back to Miami sometime. Oh, yeah. There's so much stuff to do and to see here. We didn't even scratch the surface like hardly at all. Uh, so we'll definitely we be took back. Some notes. But yeah, we definitely took a lot of notes, a lot of stuff, a lot of really cool stuff to do here. So we'll be back. We'll be back tomorrow. We're heading back to Tampa. And uh, but we still got one more adventure coming up here for you tomorrow as well. So warming it up. Really appreciate you all watching as always. And yeah, that's it. Miami, that's it. Miami. You got style. There you go. Yep. Golden girls. The Golden right? Girls. My Snake favorite Golden. TV show of all time. I see why they decided to live here in Miami. All right. Well, bye everybody. We'll see you soon. Goodbye. Bye-bye. All right, back at the hotel room now. Ooh. And we've been here for a little bit. I took a shower, put a bunch of lotion on because I am sunburned to crap from today. It puts the lotion on the skin. It sure does. It's burnt. Sure does. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I thought I'd give a quick little room tour here because I've thoroughly enjoyed my stay here at uh, the Marriott. That's where we're staying this time. It has worked out brilliantly you never know when we stay at uh when you stay at hotels as much as we do you always hope for a good one so this one was a good one we would definitely stay here again here's the bathroom the commode over here shower in here shower is pretty cool because it has a little little bench area in here as well you can hold your toiletries and such and I thought this feature was pretty nice. The little plant thing here, fake plant thing, shelf-like thing, pretty neat, pretty fancy, as well as this little kind of mini bar situation. There's a fridge down in there, coffee maker, ice bucket, all that good stuff. And the bed where I will be editing this video in a, just a second here. A really cool looking couch. With my Hawaiian shirts on it. Yeah, with <laughs> Tampa J's various Hawaiian oh, shirts on there. Very nice. And where Tampa J is just uh, editing away is where hey, the magic the happens. Yep. So, appreciate. Oh, yeah, and the snack drawer. I gotta show the snack drawer. Yeah, I just got this cool. You can pull it out right well. there. Yep. It there you go. Up. We got all our snacks in there. Snacks in. Yep. Snacks out. Snacks out. All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Really appreciate it. We'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.